my name is Morgan. Hi, my name is Carter. Hi, my name is Kaylin. And my name is Marin. All right, so you have been doing math stations in your classrooms this year with your teachers. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a different way of doing math that we're trying at our school. Yes. So, Marin, would you like to talk about what do you think about math stations? I think they're really fun and I'm really getting it. You're getting it? Um, so what, what, what do you do in math stations? Can you explain to me how you do your rotations? Um, so one group goes in there and we do Connect Four or Jenga and we do, um, and then we do the math for a little while and then we um, treat groups. Um, Kaylin, what, so there's basically, a, do you do four things? Two. We switch to two, we do 20 minutes for two stations. Okay, so. So we do 20 minutes each station. Okay, so one station is? Like, like we have lots of different types of stations, and then like some people will do like math by self, hands on, or work with teacher technology, or math self technology and stuff like that. Okay, so you do it uh, with math. So one is math with the teacher, yes. right? One is um, technology. technology, one is hands-on math, and yep. one is math by yourself? Yes. Okay. Um, when you work with the teacher, what do you do? Um, so basically, um, the teacher gives us work on like a sheet, mm -hmm. and then so it, it's filled out with a bunch of math, so um, we fill it all out together, and then we um, show our teacher, and then she'll check it. And okay. sometimes we only get to do like one page. Mm -hmm. Does your teacher, what if it's something you've never learned before? What happens then when you're with the teacher at that station? Um, she'll, she'll teach you. She'll she teaches you? She, teaches you? Yes, she helps us. Yeah, right now we're learning um, subtraction with regrouping. And some people in our, in my group need help with it, and some people just get it, like me and Kaylin get the yeah. math. So um, I'm the other people, it's hard, it's a bit harder to work when the teacher is talking and you're trying to work. Mm -hmm. But um, the teacher really helps you. Okay, so so if you need help. So mm -hmm. Kaylin, you just said you're on grade four math, but yes. you're in grade three. Yes. So you are working on different math maybe than other kids in the class if you're working on grade four math. Yes. Okay, good. Um, and Morgan, how about you? How, what? Um, I like math um, technology and hands-on because um, if your partner doesn't know what to do, you can help them with it. But on technology, you can just learn a whole bunch of new math strategies to use. Okay. What are you? What program are you using in technology? Sumdog. You're using Sumdog. Dot com. Sumdog. Dot com. Okay. So in Sumdog, what do you do when you go on Sumdog? We do. Um, so we go on either we go subtraction, addition, or times, or or um, and dividing or division. division. Yeah, division. And um, we play these games that give you math questions and. We have to answer them correctly, like through stress down. If you answer them correctly, you get to put clothes on your character. Okay. And then at the end, you get to vote who looks the best. And whoever has the most points wins. Are you versing yes. other kids in your class? You, you can, can do that. You or can verse world. There's like a thing you can verse world. You can verse world, class, or um, robot. robot. Yeah, robot. And like you can buy like in store, you can buy like some things have like special things you can buy for them, like pictures and desks. So yeah, you're earning, are you earning points, money? You, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then you make them like yeah. you can make some of them change around. Do you yeah. feel like that's a good way to practice your math? Yeah. I, your do math it, I do it at home yes. a lot for reading. Mm -hmm. I do reading um, on some dog. So oh, you I do can reading learn. and math. Yeah, yeah there's reading, reading so. math, and writing. Yeah. Um, so, you do that kind of like homework then? Yeah, yeah kind of homework, but at school and fun. But yeah. at school and fun. Okay, so if you had a choice between doing something like that at home for homework or having to do like a booklet where you're filling out math questions on paper, what would be your choice? Technology. 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 Do you feel like you get enough practice doing it that way though? Yeah, yes, yeah. I do like every night. I do two hours of it, okay. Whoa, which is and, fun. And do you do the same thing at home? Do you go on? I um, do. I sometimes. do. Sometimes, yeah. How about you, Maren? Yeah, I do it a lot. You do it a lot at home too? 
Um, yes. So if you were talking about math that you did last year and math that you did this year, what would you say, is, is it better doing math the way you're doing it with stations or mm. what do you think? I think it's better when you do stations because yeah. then you have a whole bunch of different choices to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the one I did last year, we just had to sit at a desk and, and do it for, tw for do math by ourselves for 20 minutes. Okay. It gets boring after a while. Okay. 20 mm -hmm. minutes, we do 20 minutes. Last time, at, um, at my old school, I had to do it for an hour just sitting at a desk doing that. So you prefer to do it this way yes. you get to move around? So I know you've made a change in your classroom. You were doing four stations before, yeah. and now you're doing two. They were 15 minutes each. And yeah, because be um, sometimes people just get the game and then they get it yeah. set up. They get mm -hmm. it set up, and then we have to switch. And then the next time they might forget, and then they just get to get it, and then we have to switch. So doing two switches gives you more time to yeah. play the game. Yeah. So you can get set up, and um, you can learn how to do it, and you still have time to do it. So what are yes. some of the what are some of the math games you've played this year in math stations? You've done quite a few of them, I think. We did Jenga. We're doing Connect Four. We we haven't done Connect Four yet. But you're going to, right? That's um, the next one you're working on. That's the grade two one because mm -hmm. it's easier. We did Jenga. We did um, scratch. There's with regrouping. We did adding with regrouping. We did like one where you have to add two numbers together with yeah. eight cartons. And that I was eight cartons shake up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, we've been using dice and cards, right? Yeah. yeah we've been using we dice, and dice and cards. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get to play uh, Battleship? Oh no, yeah. we, no. no, I didn't. You, your group didn't get to do that. Okay. Last year. We're not learning it yet. Last year you played Battleship. Yeah. I played Battleship last year. Yeah. I do it at my house instead of playing the normal Battleship. I do it with math with my okay. dad. Cool. That's the awesome. vision. So would you recommend math stations to other kids? Yes. yes. And yeah. other teachers, do you think that um, if you were going to give advice to a teacher to do math with a class, what would be your advice coming from kids? Because we want kids to give their advice. I would get. I would say, math stations is easier for kids, and it, you get to know your friends better. And, and then you, you get don't to have do to do stations, it. and you don't have to just sit at a desk and do your own, and do math, which can sometimes be very tricky if you don't have any help. Okay. And if yeah, have so sometimes you want to do like different things because you don't want to just sit at a desk and like do just math. It's boring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's boring if you sit there and do it for an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you should like, you should be able to get to do like other stations. You get to yeah. move around more. Yeah. Okay. Maren, what do you think? I think so too. You think so too? What would be your advice to a teacher if they're setting it up in their classroom? Um, to do all the math stations. All the math stations. Okay. And how about you? What do you think? Um, same as Marin. Same as Marin, that you think it would be a good idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it take a while for you guys as students to get to know the routine or the structure of how yeah. to do that? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, At the yeah. start of the year, everyone was like, where do we go? And now we really, just, we know where It was really confusing because yeah. everyone just got into the school and um, yeah. just get just getting normal, just getting to do stuff normally, mm -hmm. and it's just hard for some people sometimes. Do you feel like you get enough um, help from your teacher doing yes. it this way? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You getting some? The teacher gets to teach you what you need. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Kaylin, you're doing something a little bit higher, right? Yes. Do you feel like you're getting enough instruction from your teacher to be doing grade four math? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. That's awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. We appreciate it. You're welcome.